Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic to the Sith Lords. So we've made it out of the orbital station down to Telos at this point. We've met Baldur. Um, and for some reason a dead guy with absolutely nothing in his salvage. Oh no, I stole the stuff in his pack, didn't I? That's right, I remember now. See, I'm smart. Right, so we've only got one way to go. We came from that way. We can't go through there. There's nothing down there, so we've got to go this way. So let's just get on with it, shall we? Uh, we need Bowder to break this open. There we go. I mean, he clearly shot it, so I kind of feel like I should be able to shoot it. Uh, oh, turrets and lots of murdery things. Oh, God, my health is low. My health is low. My health is low. Health, health, health. More health, please. A bit more. One more health. Thank you. Uh, shield, please. I don't want to die. Right, let's go and take out. There was one of you, so let's go. First of all, take out you. Who's down? Oh god, Baldur's down. And this will be where. Yep. Kriya is down as well. Come on, come on, come on. That shield's not gonna last forever. Come on. Nice. Oh, I got a level up out of that. Very nice. We are getting better with the vibroblade thingy, though. Not missing as much or as often. There we go. Lovely. You want to get up now, guys? Thank you. Have a little healing so you stop limping along. But, you know, lost little doggies. Uh, I can't heal anymore. I Korea hear you. can. Right, now, can we level up to get the... Oh, um... Uh, uh, wisdom is force, isn't it? Yeah. Skills, can we get... Oh, good lord, no, I don't want any of it. I've got 12 points. I can't, literally cannot upgrade any of these. I genuinely think the game has broken in terms of my strength and, and all that stuff because it just won't allow me to upgrade it anymore. I have no idea why, but there you go. Uh, powers, come on, please. Yes! Improved heal. Oh, no! The reflection thing has come back as well. Oh. Okay, so level 12 is a good one. Oh, we also get kill as well. Oh, no. Um, I'm going to take the improved heal because we start off with, what is it? Five points for every one point of charisma. Uh, for charisma wisdom modifier and the level of the force user this power does not affect droids okay uh, so do, 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 15 vital oh good lord so from 5 to 15 is a bloody big jump we're going to have that right now uh, lab station and oh no one got poisoned so it's okay I'm actually immune to poison because I've got a mask on I've just remembered Right, Bowder, if you can just uh, shoot the door for me, please. Because that appears to how you, you... Yep. There right. There is one orbital oh. shuttle. Looks like it's in serviceable condition. That's all a moot point, though. Uh, why is it a moot point? I'm guessing we need the launch codes? The hangar bay doors are closed. I don't fancy flying the shuttle through solid metal, so I say we need to find a way to get them open. We'll also need to find the ignition codes for the shuttle, or else we'll have some trouble getting off the ground. If we get all that, I wouldn't worry about what shape this heap is in. I'll get it running. Right, okay. So, I mean, yes, Baldor is a little bit... Um, oh, hello. Are you going to... This droid's been deactivated, but something tells me it's going to become activated at some point very, very soon. Um, right, so first things first... Can I break this? No, okay, so only Baldur can break into the force field things. Okay. That's not annoying. There we go. Uh, right. Large locker. Repair kit. Advanced med pack and some underlay. Unarmed accuracy gloves credit. And another Arcanian energy shield. Good, because that'll, that'll go on me when mine runs out. Uh, in fact, I think mine has run out, actually. Uh, 
Yes, it has. So we'll have another one of those. Uh, do, 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 do. 80 points total damage. That's fine. That's that's quite a nice little uh, thingy. Right. Turn off the gas vents. I don't need them on because they... Uh, doesn't actually matter if I turn them off either because they don't actually do anything to me. Right. So, B control. Unlock the doors. Cannot unlock. Did I just say cannot unlock? Cannot unlock hangar doors. Base reactor is offline. Okay, so we have to get the reactor back online then. Okay. And I'm guessing when we get the reactor back online, there's all of a sudden a lot of people who want to attempt to murder me. That's probably people who want to. Yep, yeah, one there. Oh, there's just one. Okay. Well, that was easy. Credits and a repair kit. You, did you have anything on you, sir? No. Um, okay, so that one has to be opened by a terminal. Interesting. Is this one the same? No, this door just doesn't exist. Okie dokie. Oh, yes, hello. Nice, that's that one dead. Have you got on your can pinch? Yes. Droid toxin emitter. Nice, these should all be turned off anyway. Oh, hello. Rescue team, eh? Uh, who are you? Oh, this guy's from uh, from Space Amazon. Okay. Uh, why would I waste my time? Yes, but I could just take that now. Um... Why don't I just help myself to whatever you've got? Gachi. Did he just try and attack me? Like you that? space Amazon bastard! I will silence this one. Yeah, ass. Your brutality grows. My brutality grows tiresome. Okay, so Kree is being left behind next. Okay. Oh, that's the mining. Da, 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 da. Protection thingy. Uh, security this open. Impossible. Alright, so blast it open with an explosive charge. There we go. What have we got? Um, med pack and adrenal stamina. Med packs, not as useful now that I have the force. Um, but quite potentially, yeah, further down the line. <laughs> Oh, well, that reflected all of those back. Very nice. Uh, any remains? No. Let's mine the door. Although I doubt that's going to do anything, is it, actually? No. What's going on? Bowder, if you could, please. Mm. Oh, chain the lightning together. And now I just... Oh, he's kind of Either way, they're dead now. So, yeah, there was absolutely no way I was. Uh, I was. Wait, why am I? Why am I in combat? Someone shoot me from behind the door. Yes, I'm literally shot from behind the door. That seems a little bit glitchy. If I'm honest with you. There you go. Just, uh, Never mind, she killed that one too. Right, what have we got? Okay, so we have droids that actually are turned on. So can we do... Yes, we can overload them. Nice. And now we can just secure the door open. Oh no. Can I open the door from the terminal? No. Hmm. What about you? No. Okay, so how do I get into those doors then? There's nothing in here. Uh, bow dirt if you would get close enough. There we go. There we go. Right. 
My guess is we have to turn all the power on first, I'm assuming, like the main reactor or whatever it is. Nothing there. Nothing there yet, but there probably will be in a moment. This is a door. Oh, hello! Damaged AK protocol droid. I mean, I'll be honest, it looked like it was pretty active. Um, might program the droid to follow you. Okay, so he's he's severely <coughs> broken. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh. Um. Okay. Well, we don't have a droid anymore. Uh, actually, what's the blue? The blue door is a different area, isn't it? What's in the blue door? Military base sub-level. Ah, oh, locked. Okay, so we've got no choice, basically, but to go through on, on the one-track level and then come back later. Okay, that, that that's fair enough, I suppose. Nice metal case. Just another med pack. The game is very, very, very generous when it comes to med packs, and that's just a nothing. There's nothing there. Okay, so we need Baldur again to break this. And there's loads of turrets in here. Now I'm going to go straight for... Oh! It's turned off. Which means as soon as I go through here, everything's going to turn on, isn't it? You. No, you're just a normal, you just wanted to talk as well. Reactor control. Oh, okay, so the turrets have been disabled because there's not enough power. No, because there was all those other turrets. Mm, I don't know, we're just gonna start the reactor. Oh, and then the doors open up. Oh. Ah. Oh. Well, that looks potentially bad for my health, I'll be honest. Uh, can we? No. Oh, but now all the turrets are obviously online. I knew that was going to happen. Okay, nothing I can't handle at this point. There we go. Oh, and Bado and Kriya have also leveled up. So if we do this now. Ooh, 38 health. Wow. What is it? Right, Kriya. Skills. I mean, you're not very useful at anything, really. Um, med pack. Um, okay, so they only appear to do with med packs, which isn't really of use to me. But, I mean, we can... Oh, I see, we've only got... I don't know why she's got stealth, because she's not a stealthy person. But, yeah, okay. Just put that up there. Right. Oh, so Kriya hasn't actually unlocked the uh, the health yet. Okay, she must be a level below me then. Uh, what's this? Disable droid? Um, stasis? Horror? Hmm. Not really got much that's useful at this point, so I guess... Yeah, disable droid. And what about you, Mr. Bowder? Who is almost, in his own little way, righteous. Yes, we get it. Uh, right, so one, 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 one. Um, now he's using, yeah, he's using blasters, so we're better off, yeah, just give him an extra little point there, just in case he does get in a little bit of a pickle, because he has been going down a little bit. And let's go, hopefully we can find out uh, if these doors are now open. Which was this one, I believe? No. Magnetic cannot be open at this time. Okay, so it just can't be opened at this point in the game then. Perhaps there's an event that will activate it in a little bit and we'll have to run all the way bloody well back. Okay, that seems to be the way most of these games go, to be fair, so I can't argue too much. Uh, this is where the door opened with all the droids I blew up, isn't it? Yeah. 
but there is just nothing in them. Unless, is there something here? Oh, there is something here, okay. Oh, okay, it's basically just a storage then. Yeah, some parts. Uh, data pads on it, grenade. Zeeson Shah Initiate Armor. Data pad contains the ignition code for the orbital shutter in the underground hangar. Okay, so that's how we get that. All right, then. Yeah, basically the game's forcing us down a very specific um, kind of route. I, I see what's going on. Which I don't mind too much. I mean, in a place like this, it'd be nice to just, you know, be able to go and explore, but... Right, where was that huge droid that we saw? There's something here. Oh, it's locked, isn't it? Oh. Oh, yes, I remember checking on the way through. Uh, there would be that massive robot moving at the back of the ship. Right, bay control. Can we unlock the doors? Yes, they're unlocked. Okay. Now. Can we do anything to that massive robot? No, so we're just going to have to fight it, aren't we? Uh, so shield on. What is it? Shield on. What's going on? And shield on. And then let's just go, I guess. I completely missed. Just throw some grenades at it. I have hundreds of grenades, I'm not panicking, I don't use them very much. No, no, these are all frag grenades, so... Could you just sonic grenade? Oh, Queer's already down. Good lord, she dies quickly. And Bowder's down. Okay, my shield's protecting me for now, so that's okay. And he's dead. Nice. Very, very, very glad that I uh, bothered getting that shield. It only just disabled my shield just as it started attacking. So, health. 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 Right, so he came out of down here, didn't he? So is there a console in here we can use to activate? No. Just a lot of containers and... Oh. Some more parts, some components, uh, chems, visor, gan silencer, okay we'll have a look at that, advanced kit, security tunnel, uh, no not the empty locker, I want, oh, I can't search that one, okay, uh, concussion grenade, and some frag grenades. Okay, well, I did use quite a lot of grenades actually, so that kind of stands to reason. Uh, right, those do are those doors open now. Is that all we had to do was kill the robot and it would automatically open the doors? I wonder. Is that one? Up There's about three, two or three doors we've not been able to open, isn't they? Right, can you now be open? No. Okay, it just can't be opened, and there's not a terminal I can find that, that activates it either, so that, that kind of sucks. But we should be able to book remote got stuff, board the shuttle. Uh, oh, it doesn't have a hype drive, but it can get you out of the restoration zone. Take it to the shield of Mesa in Talos' polar region. still there as well. Observation. They have likely escaped aboard the orbital shuttle that has been docked here. The Bay Control computer likely will have a record of their departure. Query. Have you discovered anything about the shuttle's course? Answer. I have managed to track the shuttle's movement across the shield network. However, the shield network does not stretch over the polar region, which was the shuttle's apparent destination. Statement. 
dispatch a unit to the polar region with the last known coordinates and the proximate path of the shuttle. They will not escape us again. Okay, so we have a couple of HK robots coming for us, the assassination droids then. Oh, yeah. And that's twice we've been shot out of the sky now, just just for clarification of course. Yep, there it is. Okay, so now I'm guessing we've got to defeat all of these then. That should be fun, I reckons. Oh, there's only... There's only three robots. I can take three bots. shot down my vessel what are assassin droids doing how many of you are there if you want to fight then come on destroying one of you was easy wiping out three of you might cause me to break us no why did you shoot me that who sent you after me unnecessary clarification we merely wish to cripple your vessel once we tracked your coordinates we were able to deploy several droids in this location probing query we are however curious as to why you chose to come to the remnants of the polar telos irrigation system there is nothing here that our instruments can detect. Eager threat. But we are looking forward to extracting your motives for coming here when we place you in torture restraints. Okay, so. Well, we know what they're doing here. They've come to obviously chase us. But let's ask them anyway and see if they can give us a bit more information on who sent them. Because I don't know if it's that Sith dude, that bounty hunter, or what is going on. Self-evident answer. Wherever you try to run, we will be there, armed and ready. Rhetorical query. So the query you have posed to us is one we put to you. What are you doing here, we wonder? Okay, so we're not going to get to the point what we want. So we're just going to have to fight them then. Yeah, destroying one was easy. Right, so... Shield. Shield. Atten's leveled up. He can auto level up because he's not very useful to me, if I'm honest with you. Um, now, that's a Mandalorian melee shield. That's not going to work, is it? I want. Um, just a, yeah, just an energy shield will do. That's, that's all I really need. Uh, so turn on your energy Hi, shield, please, everybody. Lovely. And now, just a bit of lightning, see if they can protect against the lightning. Yes, they can. Oh, and not, not the glory. I want. Uh, I want to him. Maybe please. Oh, they already destroyed my shield. Oh my god, they've already taken down my shield. I did not realise. Just a quick bit of healing. Yeah, he had some remains. A droid molten cannon. But nothing telling me what they're actually doing here. Let's talk to Korea. Yes. No. Okay. What about Atom? Do you know something anything? Up. Um no. Okay, so we're just here on this icy rock. There's been nothing here. I can't go all the way to the edge. The game's like, no, 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 you're not jumping off. So the only thing here is that mound. Oh! Oh, bad door! No! Uh, oh my god, Atom's leveled up again. Oh, bad door, don't be dead. Don't be dead, buddy. Looks if he was knocked unconscious. If you can find refuge, then he should recover in time. 
Okay, so the game is literally forcing me to use these three. Say the word. Okie dokie. Well, let's just head toward... Well, I, d I don't really know. I guess the only thing here, the, the big mound in the... Yeah, it's literally the only thing here, isn't it? Polar Plateau Interior. Okay. Oh no, Baudor, we left him outside. Uh-oh. I love how they've got glowy sticks with points on them. Oh. Lay down your weapons, and you shall not be harmed. Uh, no, take my weapons and you die. I will not warn you again. Drop your weapons, or we shall take them from you. Do as they say. I sense people come to no harm. Oh, not again. So, just like in Telos, we get our stuff taken from us, again, unfairly, I'd like to add. Um... Yeah, I mean, did they not see our shuttle get blown up? They were literally right below us. They could have come and helped. I mean, we didn't need it, but they could have come and helped, being the key point there, I, be, I feel. Uh, very well. Didn't come here to fight. Oh, Why is it that everywhere we go, I end up in a cell? I mean, why did they lock us up? What is this place? It is a training ground for Jedi. What? This ice hole? Yes. It bears the semblance of an academy, but where are all the students? Curious. You've got to be joking. What is a Jedi Academy doing out here in the middle of nowhere? It is a place hidden from the galaxy like the Academy on Dantooine. But this place... Oh, Atris, you have been clever. Atris? It's none of your concern. Well, the sooner we're out of here, the better. Two crazy Jedi are more than enough for me. No one told me we were going to be dumped in a nest of Jedi. What is it about this place that causes you such fear? What do you mean? We're in the middle of a bunch of Jedi. You know how they are. No, I do not. Not in the way you seem to. What? What are you doing? Get out of my head! Stop struggling. Let me follow the current. Deep, deep to its source. Stop! Stop! Ah! Ah. With the fear is mingled guilt it squirms in you like a worm and the why ah and there is its heart you surprise me i could not feel it before your feelings are a powerful shield indeed do not worry Adam. if she is a jedi she will forgive and if she is not she will not care you can't tell her. Please. I'm asking you. I don't want her to... Think less of you. I hardly think that's possible. Still, there is no shame in what you ask. We all wage war with the past, and it leaves its scars. I will not speak of yours, Atten, but there is a price for such things. What? What price? There are those who wage war and those who follow them. You are a crude thing, murderer, but you have your uses. You know how important this woman we travel with is. Even one such as you can feel it. You will serve her until I release you. And if I refuse? You will not. If you do, then my silence will be broken. And then, Atten, you will be broken. You fear the Jedi, and rightly so. If Atris learns of your choices, you will never leave this place. But whatever fear you hold of the Jedi, know that if you disobey me, that my punishment will make you beg for the death that has long hounded you. Wipe the fear from your mind. You will not find blind obedience a difficult master. You chose it once. You will learn to embrace it again. I don't know how you became such a manipulative witch, but why a vicious old scowl like yourself would even bother with me is a bigger mystery. No game of Dejaric can be won without pawns, and this may prove to be a very long game. You are a slippery one. Your thoughts difficult for even one such as I to read. 
I suspect the self-loathing that squirms within you gives you a curious strength. Your spirit, as diseased as it is, refuses to allow you to give up, no matter what threats you face and whatever wreckage you leave behind you. I feel you have crossed our path for a reason. Perhaps even you, at the right moment, may be able to turn aside disaster. If so, your potential is not yet spent. Fine. I'll be your pawn. But I still think you've got the wrong man. Perhaps. But someone has to fly the ship, and the Force is a hard thing to predict. You have crossed our path for a reason. Our path brought us here for a reason. And now I know why. The past is here. And it must be met before the future can be set in motion. Yeah. More Jedi speak. Care to explain? No. I've wasted enough time with you. Sleep, murderer, and be silent. I need no distractions. A critical moment approaches. Ooh. I wonder if Atten's going to become a Jedi then. Or maybe he's the reason that I got kicked out of the Jedi Order. Perhaps he in some way betrayed me. Curious and curious, because she specifically mentioned me. If I find out, I will forgive, and if I'm not a Jedi, it won't matter. So it has to be something to do with me. Interesting. This would I did be not Atris. expect to see you again after the day of your sentencing. I thought you had taken the Exile's path, wandering the galaxy. Yet you have returned. Why? Ah, so sh yes, I remember now. She was one of the Council who exiled me. Uh, I want my property, my slaves and my ship. No, they're not slaves. Come on. Uh, not my intention to come here, Atris, or see you again. Uh, if you think I wanted to see your face, you're sadly mistaken. Uh, hmm. Yeah, a pretentious shutter stole my oh, ship. Your ship? Ah, the Ebon Hall. It is not your ship. Unless you're admitting to the destruction of the Paragus mining facility. Let, let me add her. I, I feel I could take her. Let me add her. Um, of course I destroyed Paragus. Paragus' destruction was necessary. I mean, to be fair, I didn't destroy Paragus. The Sith did. Like, we quite clearly saw the video of the, the ship blasting it out of space. Um, oh, actually, no, wait. Yeah, I think I did. Yeah, okay, I, 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 I did it. So, at last, you admit it. At least you have that much courage left. You have not changed. Acting instead of thinking. Putting yourself before the galaxy, before the Jedi. Do you know what you have done? Um, <laughs> yeah, I destroyed two worlds with one explosion. That's a pretty good feat. Um, Telos is doomed. I could care less. Progress was nothing compared to what... No, no, we, we weren't happy about blowing it up. Um, we had no choice. It was them or us no your crime is much more than that without the fuel from paragus citadel station cannot maintain its orbit it will crash into the planet and its destruction will echo across 20 other worlds ah okay so okay yeah okay telos was a test to see if the republic could mount a restoration effort on the outer rim when it fails the republic will not finance another the other rim worlds devastated by the Sith will remain graveyard worlds, devoid of life. And that is the magnitude of your crime. Right, so... Yeah, it's almost as bad as the Jedi letting the outer rim die during the Mandalorian War, which it is, because the Jedi left those worlds. That's why they are desolate. So you still hold to your flawed convictions. If you think to anger me, you are wrong. How is it that you are not content to confine your ruin to yourself? You must spread it to others wherever you go. Ruin yourself with your actions if you will. But when your actions bring harm to others, then you must answer for it. So now I get blamed for the actions of the Sith. My crime, the Sith destroyed Paragus, not me. Uh, yeah, no, the Sith did destroy Paragus. The Sith? What do you mean? Oh, what a surprise, look. Someone on the Jedi Council has no idea what's going on. The Sith have returned, they're hunting all Jedi. Uh, yeah, they did. You speak truly. You have encountered the Sith. I can feel the scars on you. Tell me, where did you encounter them? The Sith came for me on Paragus, yes. Paragus? And what would they want there? They can't have been looking for you. 
The Sith believe me to be the last Jedi. The intent to exterminate Jedi everywhere. Um, the fools thought me a Jedi. You. If they thought you a Jedi, the teachings of the Sith blind them indeed. I am the last Jedi, not you. You betrayed our teachings, our beliefs, the very core of the Jedi Order. If these Sith attacked you, they will soon realize their mistake. And if you escaped, they most likely let you go to see if you would lead them here. Right, so everything is just about her then. I get it. I mean, if she is the last Jedi, why is she not doing anything to rebuild the Jedi Order? She's just hiding. That's all she's doing. She didn't even know the Sith were back, so she has no excuse for not actually doing something here. She didn't know she was being hunted. She's just not... Do I'm, I'm the last of the Jedi. I'm the last. When I die, there'll be no more Jedi. I'm so important. He. <laughs> Yeah, um, if so, then I'll offer you my help. You'll need it. Um, they're stronger than you think. At least one Sith Lord stands with them, and they fight differently than the Sith from the Jedi Civil War. Whatever force they can bring to bear, it will matter not. If they face a true Jedi, they shall fall. Yeah, she's just so... Everything is me. I'm the best there ever is. Um, yeah, your grasp is a little bit questionable. We shall see. For now, the perspective on your situation has changed. I have your ship. I will return it to you. You must leave here before you place us in jeopardy. Right. Is there anything I can do to help? I mean, I don't want the, the Jedi to be destroyed. I mean, I wouldn't mind her being destroyed, but the rest of the Jedi shouldn't be. You offer your aid after turning your back on me, on the Council. The Jedi is not something you embrace out of fear. The commitment is stronger than that, something you never seem to understand. Yeah, I'm not exactly here to, like, just... I'm not here because I'm scared. I'm here because I was shot down because you nicked my ship. Let's not forget the why I'm here part. Um, so, we've got a couple of persuade options here. I always understood war, and that's who you need. That's that's true. And they've got numbers. No, because numbers don't equal winning. Um, is that a fear? You can't listen. No. I know war. I know battle tactics, apparently. Perhaps. But if you help me, it cannot be done from here. There are others in the galaxy who may help us against a Sith threat. If you can find them, gain their trust, perhaps our defenses shall be stronger for it. Take your ship, seek them out. If you find them, encourage them to gather on Dantooine. From there, we can call a council and see what can be done. Okay, um, right. So... I will see what I can do. Uh, no, I'll gather what help I can. Then I shall send you on your way. It is now time for you to depart. We shall remove her, mistress. I don't Come need removing. We're just going to stand and stare awkward. No, we are actually going to move. Okay. That's the one who stole our ship. Right, mistress. The exile reminded me of something I had forgotten. Forgive me, mistress. But I must ask, the exile, I've never seen another affect you so strongly. Was she important to you once? We all have our heroes, and when we watch them fall, we die inside. She made a choice once, and I did not. The day we judged her, I stood in the chamber, and she was... She was so right. She was so certain of it. I doubted myself, but not now. She will never make me doubt myself again. But now, now I am tired meditate of course mistress I will tell the others you are not to be disturbed and please do not exhaust yourself we can attend to matters here yes yeah, so basically she's just really important and full of herself that doesn't she just strikes me as that kind of stuck-up person as well just waiting for the doors to magically open hand you know she's almost looks like she's got a hand on a hip sort of visit never mind I literally can't skip this cutscene, by the way. So I, I can't do it. There we go. Okay. Why did we get dark side points? What did we get dark side points for? We've had a light side shift. Does that mean we're moving more towards... Yes, okay. We're moving more towards light, which isn't exactly what I wanted because I actually wanted to be a little bit darker, like neutral, so to speak. Um, 
it, you know what, it's fine, it doesn't matter. Right, uh, no, that's the way we can't go, isn't it? Because that's where she was. Right. So, I'm assuming I now need to find my friends, maybe? I, I don't know. Well, at least no one's trying to kill me yet. It's the first door I've opened and no one's instantly tried to murder me. That definitely makes it a, a positive. Oh, hello. Did you find what you came for? Wisdom, that depends. What was I, yeah, what was I supposed to find here? There was something from your past here, something unresolved. I feel we did not come to this place by chance. You were led here. This woman who resides here, she did something to you once. Something that hangs upon you still. Uh, she's a Jedi, Atris, one of the council. She was one of the council who cast me out of the order and wanted to punish me even further. Yeah, she was a, she was a, she was a meanie pants. I see it now. The act has left its marks. Be warned. Unresolved events from our past can create wounds in the present and the future. And more importantly, they can distract you, weaken you. It could prove fatal against the enemies we face. Right. Uh, well, I mean, she obviously, she, yeah, she's a member of the council. I've literally just told you this. There is a Jedi here, perhaps, in that you are correct. Yet there are no students. And this woman, this Atris, surrounds herself with those who cannot feel the Force. Curious. Yeah, so, she doesn't plan to heal the galaxy and rebuild the Order. I mean, she's had all this time. She sat here, done nothing. Like, she didn't even know the Sith were around until I just told her. So the entire time she spent in hiding, not bothering to do it about the Jedi. So that's, that's rubbish. Um, if I see her again... No, aren't, yeah, aren't the handmaidens her students? No, her servants are not Jedi. Their minds are walls, trained to resist tricks of the mind. This discipline blinds them to the Force as well, even if they were Force-sensitive. Okay, um... Yeah, how did you know that? If you can't read the mind, you can't use the Force to, to learn anything, surely? Invade the mind of another. It is not something done carelessly, or when there is nothing to be gained. Okay, but she did invade Atten's mind, so she knew there was something there. Or she just didn't care. Um, yeah. Uh, let's talk about it on the way out of here, I think, because I, I kind of feel that's the Very best well, course to go. Let us depart. Uh, is that okay? He looks that cold. I should, no, I'll just shut down the cells. I am sorry, General. I must have lost consciousness in the crash. Oh, bad or it's it's fine. Don't worry about it, buddy. It's fine. I'm fine, General. Even power has been restored to my arm. What is this place? Where are we? Um, a Jedi Academy concealed on the North Pole of Telos. This must be where I had detected the energy readings before, and the drain to the restoration shields. This room, this place, it looks part of a huge polar irrigation system, possibly planet-wide. Like the one on Coruscant. I've been told by the Republic that it was not in use. Um, no, I'm not going to mean to. I like Bowder. Um, are you well enough to travel? I am, General. If you wish, I may travel with you or join you at the ship. No, we could use you. Very well, General. Right, so we're going to have Bowder and Atten. Although we haven't actually found T3 and 4 yet. That's a good point. Where is he? Yes. Yeah, yeah I gained some influence with Baldur. I like Baldur. Um, at least got anything nice I can nick. Some money. Is that it? They literally keep money in the prison. It's not a normal place to keep money, but sure. I mean, maybe it's an evidence locker of some description. Who knows? What have we got here? Handmaiden. Oh, T3! Well, if it isn't the one who stole the Ebonhawk. Not so smug now, are you, you little thief? Uh, repair your behavior court. They didn't memory wipe you, did they? Uh, no, are you alright? Um, it wasn't your fault they took the ship, buddy. You're just a little droid. It wasn't, wasn't your fault. Uh, hold on. What information are you talking about? Why would she want what's in your memory court, your entire memory, or which console? No, why would she want it? 
Um, yeah, let's get out of here first. Yeah, we'll join in the Emerald, buddy. Go ahead. You got a little blinky eye as well. Maybe he needs a new light bulb. Um, oh, I've got some light side points. Okay, so it looks like I'm definitely heading towards the light side then. That was a mistake. Uh, bonded plates. I haven't upgraded any of the armor, actually. I really should look into that. Uh, that's a lab station, isn't it? Work, there's literally a workbench over here I'm not paying any attention to. Um, right. Uh, armor. We've got... That, I believe, is me. I don't know if there's anything... Oh, there is stuff I can... Do. Okay. Um, immunity on Sonic. Skills, Reflex, and Stealth go up. Uh, so, you know what? Yeah, Reflex plus one for me, because that could be nice. Um, and then, Immunity, Attribute, Damage. I don't know what that means. Oh, Immunity for... Okay, well, this is obviously clearly the better one. Uh, Sith battle suit, Over heat shielding, bonded plate, defense bonus of two, I'll take that, and 10% energy damage, okay, that makes someone better, I'm not sure who, who's got the Sith, no, they must, Atten and Baldor must have them on, because that's who's currently with me, um, immunity versus fire, and then we can't have that one, so, okay, just assemble that for now. We need to upgrade someone's armor later. Um, speaking of armor, yeah, I've been, oh, good lord. Um, no, where's my, is she not giving me my weapon back? No, it is, it's there. Okay, uh, you, you still have yours, and you still have yours. Okay, so you do still have your weapons at the very least, they just didn't. Yeah, that's really annoying. Didn't just give me mine back and we just hold it. Okay, this place is huge. Oh, that's just a ship. I mean, I suppose it had to be somewhere, didn't it, really? Uh, Durasteel and another Arcanian Energy Shield. And is there anything else in here? Uh... No. Okay, so we'll just get out of here at this point. Um, once more, do you believe in TLS Power Academy for good? No, 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 no. We might have missed something. As much as I'd like to go hunting and killing things, um, there may be some other good stuff here. Lab station, the workbench. That's just a handmaiden. Okay, so what about if we head back to the main bit? Oh, see, more plastic cylinders, look, some good stuff. Uh, some gloves. A computer spike, credits, and chemicals. These people are just rolling in money, they just stash it anywhere. And a security tunnel, okie dokie. Up there is where she is. I can't get up there. I can't do anything. Um, what is through this door here? Locked. Okay. It's a little unfortunate. Uh, yeah, let's go and see. Is there anything we can do up here? I should have got the, uh, you know, the, the burst of speed force power. No, I'm guessing I can't get up there, can I? No. Okay, let's just head back to the ship at this point and make a break for it. Let's see if we get blown out of the sky for... What is this now? The fourth time running? Yeah, we've, we've been blown out of the sky three times. So maybe fourth time lucky for us. Um, is this the right way? No, but this is something different, which is fine, because, you know, exploring new areas, that's all right. Okay, so this must be like the training room. Oh. Advanced med pack credits, some mandalon ammunition, and a nerve amplifier belt. That's all good stuff. Oh, are these the sleeping quarters? We're just robbing the handmaidens. I mean, I'm okay with that. I'm just asking a question. 153 credits? 
And 34 credits, good lord. So these people are just rolling in. Ooh, this one's locked. Some credits and another apprentice robe. Not sure why that one was locked. The other one had more money in it, but there you go. Nothing in here. Oh, another locked one. Come on, be something good, be something good. A uh, computer spike. Absolutely useless because we can't actually use any of the computers here either. So, kind of a bit pointless really. And one last locked one which we can just security our way into. Uh, some components and a rebreather mask. Okay, I believe that's what I've got on my face anyway. So nothing really too good, just a bit of money. So we will head back to the ship. And, oh, this way. This way, this way, this way. Yeah, I really should have got the uh, the speed boost from the force. Because I run so slow. Alright, let's get on board the chat. The, the chat, the ship, have a chat with everybody. Because I'm assuming that will be the next set. There's a lot of talking in this game. Yes, we want to enter the Evan Hawk. I believe we've... we've Checked everything, there's nothing there. And, yeah, there we go. I kind of feel like this would be something that would be investigated, that's not a natural formation, but there you go. Well, now that we're off that Dajaric board of a planet, I say we burn sky until we see lines. Uh, what's with T3? Right, okay, there's a lot of beeping and booping for what appears to be not a lot of information, which is kind of frustrating, actually. But, not unexpected with droids, so let's see. Um, right, you did what while you were connected? You downloaded Atris' archive. Yeah. What is the machine saying? Is that a machine? Uh, he said there was a hollow record of my trial. There was a hollow record of the day I was exiled. If you have the hollow T3, play it. Might as well show it. It's just history. No. Yeah, there's a record. You have found it. You here. Uh, I came because I chose to, not because you summoned me. You have called me here to answer for my crimes. Whatever your reasons, speak them or let me go. No, you've called me to answer for my As crimes. I haven't summoned you, so have you come full circle to return to the Jedi. Why did you defy us? The Jedi are guardians of the peace, and have been for centuries. This call to war undermines all that we have worked for. Is Revan your master now? Or is it the horror you wrought at Malachor that has caused you to see the truth at last? Um, I realised following Revan's war was in violation. I broke it knowingly defying the wishes of the council, who apparently only ever seemed to sit there and just, you know, we must discuss this further, we must discuss this further. Let us have another discussion on this matter. No, um, that's not going to work for me. If you speak to punish me, get on with it. The truth is the Mandalorian had to be stopped or countless more would have died. You were not at Malakor and you will never understand. The truth is that no Jedi should turn from war. They should embrace it. Now that kind of feels like a path to the dark side. Now we were saving people. That's all we did. You refuse to hear us. You have shut us out. And so have shut yourself to the galaxy. You are exiled. And you are a Jedi no longer. There is one last thing. Your lightsaber. Surrender it to us. <laughs> Okay, the stone just sucked up my, my, my lightsaber. That seems like something that happens all the time. 
Much defiance on that one. You were correct, Kavar. When she was here, I felt it. It was as if she was not there. More like an echo. The war has touched the youngest of the Order. Many of them have lost themselves in battle against the Mandalorians. We have not lost a Jedi this day. You felt it. She has lost herself. She is no Jedi. She walked Revan's path, but she was not strong enough. I fear it is our teachings that may have led Revan to choose the path he did. We are not the ones who taught him. We take responsibility, Atris, not cast blame. The choice of one was the choice of us all. Revan's teacher intended no harm, and Revan had many teachers since. Yet they all stem from the same source. Her teachings violated the Jedi Code, and lead all who listen to the Dark Side, as they did the Exile. You are wrong. The Dark Side is not what I sensed in the Exile. Surely the rest of you felt it as well. That emptiness we felt. She has changed. Whatever that wound was, it was of the Dark Side. We should not have let her depart. She will simply join Revan again, or perhaps worse. What would you have done with her, Atris? Be mindful of your feelings. This is not Revan who stood before you. This one walks a different path. No, although that may come in time. We let her go because we must. Where she travels, she carries her destination with her. Malachor V should have been her grave. You saw it in her walk, and in the Force. It was as if she was already dead. No, not death. Many battles remain for that one, if what we have seen is true. But the future is a shifting thing, and she cuts like a blade through it. We should have told her the truth. A Jedi deserved to know. No good would have come from it, even if what you believe was true. There is still the matter of Revan, and such truths could leave us vulnerable on two fronts. Perhaps in many years we will call her before us and explain what happened to her, and how she may be healed. Until then, she must accept her journey. But she may never discover the truth, and she will never know why we cast her out. And that is the future we must accept. Those Jedi sure like their secrets, don't they? So, the last few moments after my trial, I had no idea. Is that all there is? There must be more. So they knew what happened to me. They all do. Yes. Uh, Atrus has a list of all the missing Jedi. Yeah, display it. Master Brook. Master Zekai El Narshadar. Master Kavar. Master Vash. Well, we know where she is. All she's done is try and blame everybody else. Um... Yeah, we know them. Strange coincidence. It is no coincidence. There is some larger plan at work here, and we are walking into it. This is too convenient to be anything but a trap. We have no choice. Those Jedi know what happened. Be that as it may, we need their help. Fine, then I say we go find somewhere to hide. I say we forget the Jedi and go right for the Sith. No. We have no choice. I mean, I wish there was an option that says, okay, well, let's go spring a trap. But there's not. Oh, General, another conversation. Is there a reason you don't carry a lightsaber anymore? Uh, Atrus and the Council took it from No, it was... Took it from me. No, when it's returned, I will bear it. That's not your lightsaber anymore. That belonged to someone who served Revan in the wars, not the person you are now. You could build another one, if you wanted to, but you know that. Um... I'm not afraid... Uh... Why would I? I don't know, General. Whatever the reason, you should put it behind you. I know this. A lightsaber is part of who you are. Without it, you're not complete. Right, to begin, there are some parts we would need. Yeah, I don't know where to get the parts. I think I can help you out there. I happen to know the parts you need. When did you become an expert? I spent a lot of time around Jedi during the war. None of them would let me take their lightsaber apart, but I did learn about their construction. We need a power cell. Emitter matrix, lens and focusing crystal. Though I have to admit the crystal is beyond my means. Never did understand them. Those parts are fairly common. Though a Jedi once told me that it's best if your lightsaber reflects you. And if it is constructed of things that identify it as your own. Just bring the parts to me before you get started building it. I'll make sure they're usable. Okay, so all I need to do is just write my name down the side of it then. gone for a long time without a memory wipe. Most droids behave erratically under those circumstances. I know that, but I'm fixing everything else around here, so I may as well take a look at you too. 
What was that? That's what I'm talking about. That is not normal droid behavior. Um, maybe he's worried. You said you're trying to have a habit towards developing personality quirks. I am not pushing you around. I just wanted to see if there was anything I could do to upgrade your functionality. Sounds like a good idea to me. Good. Now let's get started. You wouldn't guess it from the outside, but it looks like you've been through a lot. I'll bet. I'm all done with you. If anything comes loose, let me know and I'll put it back in place. Alright, he's getting a plus two permanent bonus to his constitution. Okay. Right, so. We've met Atrus. We've discovered what happened to us at the council that day when we were cast out. And more importantly, we now know how to build a lightsaber. Again, whilst I do have lightsabers in my possession, I don't think it's really fair, or I should say it seems too much like cheating for me to use a lightsaber that I I shouldn't have. The games give it to me and I shouldn't actually have it yet. So I'm not going to be using them because again, I don't feel like that's something that is, is beneficial. So in the meantime, I'm going to leave it there, ladies and gentlemen, but thank you very much for joining me. Join me again next time where, hopefully, we'll get to find ourselves either a nice Jedi Master or actually build our own lightsaber. Yes, that could be interesting. But thank you very much and goodbye.